Hello and welcome to Zone 6 2022 um, Club Championships. Today we're witnessing Naba versus Harare City. My name is Nyara Zigwanzura, correspondent with MNL and the representative of MWC Sport. This first set has just started and uh, currently Naba are leading in this set by three points. That's an attack by Tafaz Gamapumo. He is known as Big Mike. Uh, and Prince Maka strikes it outside of the court and that gives Naba a point. an experienced field in this game uh, particularly with from the number side uh, where all the players in the number team have played well on the, in the number six to be specific have played at zone six level and uh, for those that are currently on the court I can safely say that four out of the five out of the six four out of the six were part of the winning team in the previous edition of the 2019 club championships and uh, Michael Mafumo the one serving was a silver medalist in that competition ironically he was playing for Harare City which is the team on the other side of the court Washington Kapuyo was also a silver medalist once again with Harare City Isaac Chokera there with a kill which ends now by a point, the eighth in this set, and they seem to be fairly in control of this game. Ooh. That is a pass error by Blessing Manai, the Harare City captain. You would not expect that from him. I'm sure he's uh, disgruntled himself by that, but at this level, they have to move on quickly. They have to move on quickly. Okay, that's Prince Maka with a kill for Harare City. Very impressive young man. He is, uh, his parent club is uh, Shalom Bolas from Victoria Falls, much south Harare, uh, Zimbabwe. Sorry, Zimbabwe. Isaac Chokera serving, I must say, he has really, uh, it has really taken him a bit of time to earn a place in a particular team. As during his stint at UZ Wolves, he, he was really in the first six, as it were, but now he has come back and so he is, uh, he has earned his spot in the team and is delivering as he should. Blessing Manai, the number captain with the serve and it's an ace. It's an ace. It's an ace. It went past Clayton Murere naturally. One would expect that the Libero should take that. He should take it. That is his role. That is why he's on the court. Maybe there was a bit of confusion there, but they will try to pick themselves up quickly here, Naba. Ooh, that's another ace serve by Blessing Manai. Another ace serve owing to a pass error again from the Naba end, this time Shamam Neta. Very experienced power hitter. Makes that error. Maybe the serve in itself is indeed powerful. It is, it is because that was an overpass by Shamam Neta and Ronald Makombe, former UZ Wolves setter, capitalizes against his former team. Got a very intense game now. Now I have lost three consecutive points, four consecutive points, and blessing my eye because of that service error. He gives Naba uh, a point, 
and so breaks his own service. Attack by um, Masawi from uh, Harare City. They've got a bit of chemistry with Ronald Mokombe on and off the court, and so you'd naturally expect that uh, they will deliver. They would make a good combination on the court, owing to their relationship off the court. So it's quite impressive and beneficial to the team, really. Namba just leading this set by one point. Ooh, Washington Kapuyu. He strikes against his former paymasters and he scores. They call him Sauro. I wonder from whence that name came. And so he serves. Oh. That's a lovely, lovely attack from the Harada City number 10. He brings his team back into the game. Michael Kabarira, that's his name. Michael Kabarira, that's his name. They call him Masawi. Uh, the number, the number end. We're calling for a passing error there, but I'm not sure if they have quite read the rules, which now say that the first touch has no fault. Because for argument's sake, the ball is so powerful. Ooh! That's a big, big point by Shamam Neta from Naba. Big point from Shamam Neta. Massive attack and the block when he took the ball out. Kodal Pasha Kondo now serving. They call him Drizzy, Alaj Musa and... Wow. It's part of the game that eventually you get a name that you are not necessarily given by your parents. So, Harare City number 11, Chiloe Chadiwa Nashe, he struck the ball out, and so that gives Naba a point. Who now lead by three points in this set, they were leading by five, and the game was reduced to one, and now it's back to three. Um, and now four. Four points, Naba lead this set, 15. And Harare City, 11. To those just joining us, this is the Zone 6 Club Championships 2022 edition. Live from Maputo, Mozambique. Myself, my name is Nyara Zibwanzura, a correspondent with MNL as well as a journalist with MWC Sport. What we are witnessing is a, is a group pool match between Naba and Harare City. These are Zimbabwean teams that have played together in the previous season in the Harare League. They played in the final way. Harare City was leading by two sets to Neil. And Naba just came back. And they took the set. The game. Rather, they took the game. Kwashi Kondo continues with his serve in this game. He continues with his serve. I was just giving a brief background. Uh, uh, before the tournament, prior to the tournament, when these two teams met in a friendly match, Harare City came out victorious. So it's, it's quite a bit of a 1-1 situation. We'll see uh, who wins the best of three in quotes. Best of three in quotes, I repeat. Um, of these matches. It's, uh, it's a very intense Zimbabwean affair. Harada City had taken a timeout there after losing three consecutive points. And that's an attack. Uh, that's an attack effective one from Kudakwashi Chawuya. Uh, Prince Edward Boy, former Prince Edward Boy. So Ronald Makombe need, uh, also 
is uh, former Prince Edward Kudakwashi, Chawia, former Prince Edward. So it seems like there's a there's a there's quite a great project that's going on there at PE, producing uh, elite volleyball players. So now the the second referee is, is calling in a, an assistant to to sort of mop the court, make sure it's dry. As there's some spillages of sweat. Now Harare City uh, to make a substitution. Kudakwashi Tawia will come out. Kudakwashi Tawia will come out uh, and make way for Keri. For Keri Chiku, Chikuru Party. We'll make way for Keri Chikuru Party. Keri Chikuru Party is uh, uh, known for an effective service. And so he is coming in to serve. that there was a touch there there wasn't the referee insists that there was not there was no touch so Michael Mafumo will continue in this game uh, as he serves <laughs> Right to the Libero, the Harare City experienced veteran Libero, but still he could not pick this one up. Naba lead by six points. They lead by six points and they find themselves now in the highway. They need seven to close the set, and that's a very hard serve. He threw a brick right there, Michael Mafumo. He's gaining confidence because his first serve, he sort of gave it away just to make sure that he. He familiarizes with the court, I guess, and now he is throwing them hard and he serves again. This one, this time around, he was a bit precautionary on the serve, and that's an attack by Isaac Chokera, who, who got blocked. The block got a touch. Shaman later, the power hitter. He scores it, he strikes it, he scores it for Naba. He used to play for Naba before user moves, then he went back to Naba together with a host of uh, former user moves players. Um, Michael Mokumo continues with the serve and it's a nice, it's a nice. They could not see that one, there was no one in that zone and that's quite impressive. That's quite impressive from the former user moves players, uh, former user moves player uh, Michael Mafumo and he takes his team to just needing four points to close the set. Uh, Harare City have, uh, have, have sort of lost this set already. It's too early to say in a game of volleyball you never know what might happen but at this point surely one would think that Naba have indeed taken this one. That's coach uh, Nyasha, Nyasha Takawira uh, just having a a, a brief conversation with the setter Tendai Sabayana. Maybe just giving him a few pointers on how to, to to close this set. As they are now four points away to take the first set.
Michael Mafumo continues with the serve. He is bouncing it. He is bouncing it. He's feeling the ball. Ooh! That's a hard serve. That's a hard serve. And the Harada City managed to be in control of it. But they give a free ball. And they were almost punished for that free ball. They give another free ball to Naba. What will they do with this free ball? Oh! There is a net touch, net touch, net touch alleged in the Arada City end. You would not expect such errors at this point in the game, especially when you're trailing by, uh, oh, by, 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 by nine points. You do not expect such an error, but well, it's part of the game. It's part of the game that could have happened this in the first five points. That's a very hard and impressive serve. Ronald Makombe, former Prince Edward boy, former use that moves, makes a very dreadful error there and loses the point. Um, Harare City have uh, Chazona Shirawa on the bench. He's uh, quite an experienced player. Um, he's played in a several number of Zone 6 club championships as well as the African club championships. Michael Mafumo continues with the serve and it goes out. He was aiming to serve in the zone one and unfortunately the serve just drifted outward of the court so now the game continues the game continues a young man from Harare city will continue this game Ooh, shamam neta just tipped it over the block and earned his team a point he's known for for very hard hits, they even call him Sensei. But this time around, Shama Mneta was just focused on getting a point and not necessarily a hit. And so he serves. He serves. And there's a bit of confusion there on the pass. There's an overpass. Michael Mapumo. He strikes, he scores, and so that marks the end of the set. Number one, Harare City, zero. The game will continue in a bit. Uh, thank you very much for those who are just joining us. Uh, this is the Zone 6 Club Championship 2022 edition. Nyaradzi Big ones that are reporting, corresponding with MNL and uh, as well as uh, MWC Sport. We're here live in Maputo, Mozambique, where we've just witnessed, uh, where we're witnessing a group game between Arara City and Naba, both Zimbabwean teams. Uh, needless to say, we haven't seen the introduction of uh, very experienced players like Chavazo Kenny, Colin Peter, Kudzai Bakaiza, and, um, and, uh, what's his name? And, uh, Simbarashim Chambirwa. Uh, these, uh, were finalists at the previous edition of the Zone 6 2019 in Mal Malawi, Lilongwe, and, uh, it it's quite interesting. On the other end, also, we did not see the introduction of Charles Nyamase, C4, uh, is a very experienced young man. Oh, is he still young? Who knows? Uh, and uh, Tazona Zirawa is very experienced as well. So uh, we can safely say that uh, coaches, coaches from the number end have options to maintain dominance. And from the Arari City end, they have options to try and come back into this game and recover. a very attended match uh, we'll just shift to the crowd where we'll see uh, that's uh, Mr. Godnose Jembere the manager for Harare City and we can see as well uh, a few other fans there that are watching the game um, from the number end notably uh, Mr. Peter Garway is sitting right there he's a technical director he's part of the technical staff at Naba and uh, that would be Blessing Manai Blessing Manai, the Harare City captain, he's taking a breather, he's taking a walk just to sort of psych himself into the second set. We'll shift to the other court for a bit where there's a ladies contest there between UZ Wolves and uh, AAM, AAM here from, from here in Mozambique. AAM are leading this set by three points and uh, UZ Wolves women have one point. Ooh, that ball did not cross, and that point goes to use it moves. And uh, Ashley Chimedza continues 
to serve. This is the first game in this tournament, actually. It's the first game in this tournament, first appearance, rather. And uh, she continues with her serve. Ooh, that ball goes out, and the score is now level three apiece. Use it, Wolves, and uh, AAM from Mozambique, Academia from Mozambique. They're, they're sort of hosting this team as their team belongs to uh, the venue at which we are at the uh, Universitario Eduardo Medlane. Ashley Chimedza with an acer. And so the team was trailing 3 0. They now lead in this set 4 0. And we can see the UZ men are now supporting their counterparts. Uh, in, in a few seconds, we'll shift back to the match that we are watching. That is Naba Vesa Zarade City after this rally. And UZ Wolves get the point. They now lead 5-3 five, five, in that set. And so we shift back to our main course in, in, in courts uh, where Harare City are playing Naba now. Blessing Manai goes to the, to the referee just to indicate a few issues there. He's quite knowledgeable, this man, about the game of volleyball. I'm sure he reads, he has read the rules thoroughly and he does so every so often. And so he always has uh, uh, some, some, some issues to contribute towards the playing of the game, either on or off the court. We've seen the introduction of Kerry and uh, Tazona Zirawa from the Harare City end. We've also seen the introduction of Charles Yamashi. Uh, like I said, that they do have experience, and they're trying to, to, um, they're trying to sort of come back into this game, Harare City. It's a nice serve by Tajwana Zarawa. Ooh, strike, score. Michael Mafumo, he starts the game with, uh, with, a, with, a, with a nice attack there. Uh, he, he was, he was a, a, a Harare City player actually. Then he joined the user wounds for, for, for a bit. Then he then transferred to uh, Nava. It's an Acer. It's an Acer. Acer by Tendai Steve Musabayana. You can see, uh, well, it's too far to see from from this angle, but uh, Tafazwa Kelly is doing a, a bit of a dance there. Uh, Naba are unchanged in terms of their lineup. That's a very regrettable pass error by the Harare City Libero. And so the score is now 3 0. Uh, just just uh, apologies there for the delay in updating the score. The score is now 3 0. Naba are leading. And Tendai Steve Musabayana continues with the serve. The referee was just telling the Harare City bench to uh, put on their masks. As needless to say, we are still in a pandemic time. We're still in a COVID pandemic time. And so this is part of the rules in this auditorium. Any, anyone who's not on the court playing or officiating, they ought to wear a mask. Washington Kapoli with an attack. Michael Mafumo, he just uh, spins it across the net. Charles Nyamase, that ball goes in. Fortunately, it goes in. And uh, we can see that Tazona Zurawa has been injured. Unfortunately, I wonder what's happened to his knee. The, the Harare City uh, medic rushes on the court. It, it, it's quite unfortunate, really, that Tazona quite unfortunate that Tazona Zurawa has, uh, has been injured. I mean, the, 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 coach, uh, the coach put him in, into the game in order to sort of shake things up in the setting department. And now the man on whom the coaches were relying has been injured. And so Ronald Makombe uh, starts warming up. He starts warming up uh, just in case uh, this injury necessitates a substitution.
He is backup Tazona Zrawa, commonly known as Taz. Um, they just call him Taz. Even I call him Taz. Um, he's getting a bit of encouragement here, Taz, Taz from from his manager because they need him. They do need him. That is a big block by Blessing Manai. And he's very, he's very celebratory in this point. He's, he's, very, he's very thrilled that he managed to get that one. It's a relatively tight set. That's a relatively tight set by Tendayam Sabayana to Michael Makumo. And so Michael Makumo hits that ball outside because there was a bit of discomfort there when he withdrew to, to attack the ball. Chajona is uh, still limping. I wonder if he's really fit for this set. I really wonder. Um, but he is aware that his team needs him. And so he's going to fight. This set. Oh! That's a nice pipe attack by Shamam Neta. The score is now level. Number 4. Harare City 4, number a leading in terms of set score 1-0. Washington Kapuyu serves. Oh, blessing Manai. Blessing Manai. He's, he's really having a good game. This, uh, this skipper, he is having a good game. Um, he's quite experienced. Quite experienced not only is he knowledgeable but he's very experienced and so he's quite reliable in terms of uh, uh, delivering on the court he was just moving the the ball cut there so that he gets ample space for himself to serve that service was effective Ooh, that's a carry that's a carry by Shamam Neta and so now number lead in this set 6-4 the score out number get a point and so they come back suffice to say that Tafazo uh, Kenny Colin Peter Simbarashim Chambiro former Rare City player they're still on uh, the bench they haven't been introduced they are players who can actually make a difference in this game that ball goes out overpass goes out and so the score is now level is now back level 6-6 six, six. Oh, that's a really effective pipe attack that's a really effective pipe attack and, uh, and, 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 and it goes in. It goes inside the court, ends number, ends at other city point, and so they now lead in this set. Charles Nyamash, very experienced player. Ooh, it's a tight set on the number end. Another pipe attack, another pipe attack. And so that ends, uh, uh, uh another city, another point.
Hello, we're back. Um, just apologies for the disruption in transmission there. Um, uh, that is uh, that has been rectified. Uh, so the, this game continues now with Naba leading uh, in this second set. Um, it's, it's a nice attack there by Prince Maka. And uh, the Red City have been making uh, adjustments to their team. The referee says there were two touches again. So now the gap the gap is narrowed to only two points. Nyasha Takawira takes the timeout. He wants the the players to calm down. He's now having a conversation with uh Chendaim Sabayana is set up. Uh, just uh, out of interest, uh, on the other side of the of the, of the hall, there's a uh, user moves and uh, AAM, AAM from Mozambique. And that uh, set score now, that not set score, rather, the score in the set is 21 apiece. Both teams are in 21 points, and uh, it's now game four for both teams. Oh, that's a, that's a dreadful error there by Lisa Madombe. Okay, now we come back. We come back to... Uh, that's, that's, that's a terrible pass there. That's a terrible pass by Clayton Morede. And so that ends Harare City a point. That ends Harare City a point. They've closed the gap. It's just now one point. That's one point difference. And that's served by Charles Nyamase. It goes out 19-17. Harare City are yet to enter the highway, the highway which is 18 points going up. Uh, Naba needs 6 points to close this set and retain the advantage in this game overall. They need 6 points. Michael Mafumo serving. Remember he's the man who served uh, effectively in the previous set leading up to that win in that set. Uh, that's an effective attack by Charles Nyamase. An effective attack from the backcourt. And so it closes the gap. So Charles Nyamash is just giving Prince the instruction to say the serve should just go across the net. Kari and said it should just go across the net. That ball was out. That ball was out. The referee says the ball was out. And so the score is now level. But she now consults. The referee consults with uh, the lines, the line judge right there on whether or not that, that, that ball went out. Meanwhile, Naba are now making a substitution. Tafaz Wakeni, the most valuable player in the Zimbabwe National Premier League, is coming in for his friend, his counterpart, his former teammate, his teammate at the University of Zimbabwe Wolves, uh, Tendai Steve Musabayana. And so Simbarashi Mchambiro also comes in for... Uh, Michael Mapumo. This is just a substitution by the Naba Technical in order to just try to retain dominance in this game. And so we see how it goes. Prince with the serve. It's supposed to go across. It does. And Mtambirwa with the set. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shamam Leta sensei the column for his hard hits. And he hits one and he hits it on the ground in the court. And so they lead. They lead by one point in this set number, and they just need uh, five points to close the game. Oh my gosh! He's very disappointed in himself, Sensei. He is, because at this point in time, no one would want to mess up a serve. Now there's Kerry serving. He's known for an effective service. He just floats it over the net. Precautionary serve he did. But that's a free ball to Naba. Are they going to utilize it? They don't. Now it comes back to Naba. And so the referee says there was a net touch. Oh, she says there was a trespass rather, not a net touch. So now Naba lead in this set. Harare City needs the win. They do. 
They would want to retain their advantage. It's a float serve. That ball goes in. That ball goes in and Harare City are now in front. They now need three points to close the set and so come back in this game. Naba still need five. It's not uh, too late for them to come back actually. In a game of volleyball, one point is many points, they say. One, pain, one point is so many. It's an effective defense there. Ooh! Isaac Chokera. Isaac Chokera. They call him Balake. He has blocked that. And that was an attack by Charles Nyamase. C4. The men they would rely on surely at this point in time in the game. Um, it did not go across. It ended now by a point now. Now by a block comprising of Tafazo Keni, Washington Kakuyu, Kudakwashi Kondo. Who they passed through that block. Halari City. Oh my god, no. No, no, Isaac, no. Isaac hits it into the net. You know, at this point in time, at this point in time, at this, at this point in time, uh, it, it would be really wise to just hit the ball across the net. Rely on the block. Tafazwa Kenny strikes Tajuana Jirawa back in the game. He's very reliable, Tafazwa Kenny, even on his serve, is very reliable. He just, they would hope at this point in time now, but that they will not experience another service fault. They don't. They don't. It goes across! Oh, that was almost. Tafaz Wakeni strikes it, scores it. He is very reliable, the MVP. And now back on level terms, Naba 23, Harare City 23. Co Coach Itzanang Abu Basutu has called for a timeout just to let his charges breathe. And then and, and this tournament, this is uh, the opportunity for the DJ to also uh, do some work. It at this point that Harare City ladies have come into the court and they're supporting their counterparts. Washington Kakuyu! That ball, go, that ball goes in. It's now on juice. The game is now on juice. And so he goes to serve Washington Kakuyu. We will expect that he does not make a service error. A man of his experience, a man of his stature. Surely a service error is unexpected. It, it doesn't come to Zona. Ooh. Blessing Manai. Blessing Manai, the Harare City captain. He scored that. He did. Convincingly so. And so they now need one point number to win the set. The referee is just warning Coach Itanang Makubasutu to sort of stay in his lane. He was just now going. Tafat Wakeni. still in this game. Tafaz Kenny again and he scores. Kenny scores. He does. So now Kudakashi Kondo is very safe. Again, 
Jafazo Kenny again. This man is surely the MVP in his own country and he is showing that he deserved that. He's arguably, arguably the best player in Zimbabwe currently. And, and surely, just look at how he's delivering. He came off the bench to rescue the team and he's doing just as he was told. He's just giving his counterpart, Kudakwa Shukundo, there a few instructions to calm down perhaps and just ensure that the serve at least goes above the net. They need one to win the set, maintain dominance in the game. Uh, Arare City need one to come back in this set. Ooh. That's a very smart point there by Charles Nemachi. Very smart point. Very smart point by Charles Nemachi. You'd expect uh, the number like better to sort of cover the court more effectively, especially, especially at this point in time in the game. That ball went out, it was an attack by Tavaz Okemi, it went out until Naba are trailing. They now need two points to sort of gain their, regain their advantage. Harare City just need one in order to um, win the set. Number point, and so it's back to juice 28 apiece. So it's back to juice. Shaman Nita is scored and he now serves. Blessing Nanai, as usual, he is uh, he's going to complain about something technical there about how the floor is. You see, this is this, this is the the, the character of Harare City. They they may lose they lose focus on very trivial things, and so that might be very costly in terms of the game. Oh, that's a number point. Lovely, lovely number point. Effective attack from Washington Kakuyu. That was a nice set. Uh, may I mention at this point that the setter for that ball was Isaac Chokera. Balake, they called him. Shamam Neto, the serve, it goes across. Kazuna Zurawa sets to Charles Nyamashe. It goes in. It goes in. And it's now back to juice. But it seems like. It actually seems like Charles Nyamash has stepped on the line as he was attacking that. Perhaps the referee did not notice that. Tafat Okeni scores. Surely, surely this is the man, this is their go-to man all the time. 
when they need rescue. He did the same at User Rules, he's doing the same at Naba, and he will do the same wherever he goes, I can assure you. Isaac took it a serving. At this point in time, with a block comprising of Kenny, Kakuyu, and Kondo, you just want to put the ball across and let the block do the work. Thirty apiece. As long as they're our serving. That ball went out. As long as Rawa is very uh, disappointed in himself. He is because he is an experienced player. He knows what to do at this point in time in the game. At this very crucial point in time in the game. Chapazo can with the serve. It does not cross the net. It does not cross the net. It did not cross the net. Blessing Manai, as usual, goes to complain. He's disgruntled. But clearly, that ball did not cross the net. Number 32, Harare City, 30. We proceed to the third set. Naba lead two, co two sets to nil. They are very disgruntled by that. Look at Tazuna Zirawa. He's shaking his head. He's beating himself up. He is sad. He is unhappy with himself I mean surely he soldiered on in this set after that injury on his knee but he just uh, he just lost it a bit in the in the, in the, in the dying parts of the set and now um, uh, and now the, the, the team switch sides the team do switch sides Tavazo Kenny having a drink of some water after coming in to firefight for his team he did and it worked uh, that was a very good move by the Naba technical team. Now we shift to the ladies game. Use it moves versus AAM from Mozambique. Uh, as, as, at this point, uh, AAM are winning in terms of set score one nil. Use it moves have zero. Uh, and also AAM are leading in this set 11-6, 11-7 now. Use it moves are now trailing by, by four points in, in that set. For those just joining us, this is uh, uh, MNL in collaboration with MWC Sport, Mnyana Zibi Gwanzura, the reporter, live from Maputo, Mozambique, where we're witnessing the Zone 6 Senior Club Championships um, 2022 edition. And it's, 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 been, it's been quite a thrilling experience, I can assure you. Every game is, uh, is it seems like a final, I can tell you that. So our primary game that we are streaming at this point in time is Naba versus Harare City. Two Zimbabwean teams. Naba are leading in terms of set score two to nil. And so they are leading in the game. They now need one set to win the game. Harare City, should they lose the game, the set, the third set, they also lose the game. And so they are under a bit of pressure. We can see there Blessing Manai during his uh, usual walk of psyching. That's how he psychs, I guess. We come back to the ladies' game. Use it, Wolves. Chafazo Mpambu with an attack. Lisa Madombo with an attack. It is blocked. And, and so um, AAM now lead by seven points. They lead Use it, Wolves by seven points. We saw the introduction of Charity Matlangove in that team. Tafaz Gompambo with the crucial point. Very experienced lady that she is very experienced. And so she did well for her team. The gap is reduced to six points. The gap is reduced to six points. And if you can hear male voices singing, those are the Use It Wolves men supporting their counterparts. And surely their counterparts really need this support because at this point in time, they're training in terms of set score, they're training in the set, and uh, it's quite uh, unpleasant, so to say. It is quite unpleasant. Use it, Wolves, uh, our ladies suffered a defeat yesterday at the ends of UP from Maputo, Mozambique, and now they trail from another Mozambican team. It seems like the host, the host country is really being dominant in this, in this uh, tournament overall.
Welcome back. Uh, this is the, 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 the third set. Third set in this uh, in this very entertaining game between Harare City and Naba. Harare City are really, really dominating in this third set. They've come back fired up. They've come back fired up and they are ready and raring to go. Uh, we can see that right now they're leading by five points. They are leading by five points. Masawi serving. And, and they now lead by six points. They lead now the, the game by six points. We'll see if uh, we can get a reaction from coach uh, Nyasha Chakawira. Uh, he, has, he has let it slide as it is. Ooh. Ooh. Harari City are really dominating in this set. They are really dominating in this set. And so, Naba take a timeout. They needed it, they did, because surely, after trailing by seven points, you need a breather. The players need a breather. There might have been some bit of confusion on the number side, and so to deal with that, we need uh, to breathe. Ladies are really cheering for their counterparts in the stands. They are really cheering for their counterparts. They are yet to win themselves in this tournament. They have lost all the games in which they have played. First against the Wolves in two games, and another, another game yesterday at the hands of a Zambian team. Tafazo Kenny strikes and he scores. That is what he does. He comes in, he firefights or recovers whichever you want to call it, and so he delivers. Tafaz Wakeni again. That is a free ball from Marare City. Are they going to use it? Oh, no, but they do. They do use it. And so they have come back in this game. They have come back now, but... play with his heart. Just to score update that the Use It Wolves ladies lost the second set 25-12. 25-12 was the score and they lost the set. Ooh, Tafaza Kenny strikes again and he scores again. Now he is going to serve. Quite interesting in story Chapaz Okeni is a former basketball player. He only started learning volleyball in his university years. And uh, that is when he uh, dedicated himself, he worked hard, and now he has risen to be one of the best players in the country, which is quite impressive. It shows how when one works hard, uh, they, they, uh, they are duly rewarded for their work. So the, the gap is now six points. Uh, Namba are leading, uh, Rari City are leading. Oh, that's a nice, nice point by Simbaraj and Tambira. That's a trick point. They were not expecting that, Harari City. They were not expecting that. They were not. Now Shamam Neto serves. Shamam Neto serves. And it goes across, which is uh, sufficient. Ooh. That ball was really rescued by the number charges. Ooh! Effective block. Effective block by um, effective block by Isaac Chokera. Now the score is actually 6-10. 6-10. So now um, Naba now trailing only by four points. They now trail only by four points.
Okay, that is a now that is a rarity point because of a chest pass by Isaac Chokera. And so now number lead by five points. They lead now by five points and they maintain dominance in this particular set. Naba serve, it goes across the net. That is sufficient. Washington Kakuyu strikes and he scores. He strikes and he scores. They call him Sauro. Now he has closed the gap to only four points. So Naba are now trailing in this particular set by four points. If they win this set, they win the bonus of the game. If Arara City lose this set, they will also lose the game. And so they need to maintain this lead 11-7. Isaac Chokera serves. Ooh, the referee has called for a net touch there by Harare City. The gap is closed again. It's now 8 Naba, Harare City 11. Harare City needs to really pick up their socks immediately, now or never. Because if ever that gap is closed and Naba leads the set and eventually win the set, they will surely win the game. Isaac Chokera with a lovely serve. Ooh, okay, okay, uh, Sensei Shambam Neta is really disappointed in himself after that point, but uh, it happens in the game, it's part of the game, you lose one, you lose some, you win some. So now Kerry serves, Kerry from Arara City, very known for a very effective service, um, Washington Kakuyu, he scores, Sauro scores, that was quite impressive, there was a bit of a... Uh, there was a bit of a fumbling there between Shamam Neta and, uh, and Isaac Chokera on who was going to take the pass. So Isaac was about to pass it and Shama just, you know, just went in his way. For assurance, I guess. Just for assurance that the ball goes up. Simarashi Mutambiro to serve. That is an effective block by Washington Kakuyu. The referee, however, says that he trespassed or touched the net and so the point goes to Arara City. They now have 13 points. Arara City, uh, Naba have 9 points. That's a 4 point gap. Arara City desperately, desperately needs this set. Ooh. That is a nice attack by Kudakwashi Kondo. Quick A attack. And Washington Kakuyu will now earn the right to serve. The gap is now at three points. That's a nice attack. That's a nice attack. That's a nice attack by the Harare City number 10. Very effective too, and so it scores. 14-10 the score. hit the canvas and it dropped in the Harare City court reduces the gap again to three points so it seems like in this set Harare City are really maintaining a three-point lead Dakwashi Kondo serves it goes across Ooh, Harare City take the point 15-11 the score. To those just joining us, this is Mnyara B. Gwanzura reporting, corresponding for MNL and also representing MWC Sport. We are here at the 2022 edition of the Zone 6 Club Championships where we are witnessing Harare City from Zimbabwe and Naba from Zimbabwe. The National Premier League champions in Zimbabwe are battling in a group stage match where Harare, Naba are leading in terms of set score by two to Neil, if they win this particular third set, they also win the game. Tafazo Kenny, the most valuable player in Zimbabwe currently, serves. It goes out. Harare City maintain. There's four point lead now. They lead in this set 16 points, Naba 12. Isaac Chokera, Balakay. 
He's really risen to the occasion, Isaac. Like I said in, in, in the previous, in the first set, that in, in the previous years he's not really had a spot in the in the first six really of any team. He was at Harare City. He did not make it then. He did not have a good spell there. He went to use it moves. He did fairly well, but not good enough to earn him a spot in the team. And he then transferred to Naba. And in, at Naba, he has really risen to the occasion. He has. Uh, Shamam Neta continues with the serve. Naba have closed the gap to only two points. Ooh! Isaac blocked, but unfortunately, the ball came back to this side and, uh, and so um, Naba lead by three points. It was a dead ball as it were. And so Naba are duly punished for that. They are punished for that. You know, Arara City lead by four points in the set. Nyasha Takawira still has Kudzai Bakaiza at his disposal. He still has Colin Peter at his disposal. Tafazo Kenny strikes. The ball hit the canvas. It did not cross. And so now they are lead by five points. Nyasha Takawira calls for a timeout. So it's charges to me. Harare City, needless to say, are in the highway. They need six points to rescue the game by winning this set. Are they going to pull this off? Ooh. It's a lovely attack by Harare City. They now need five points. They need five points to win the game, to win the set, rather. And so come back into the game. Ooh, that's a lovely, lovely block. That's a lovely, lovely block by Simbam Tambiro. That is an amazing block. After an overpass, Blessing Manai wanted to punish and he was blocked. He was stopped. Now Simbam Tambiro serves. Block. That is an effective block by Washington Kapuyu, and so the gap has been reduced. The gap has been reduced to now three points. Naba needs three points to catch up. point again Tazona Zira wanted to do a little trick where the setter just puts the second ball across he was blocked now Arara City take a timeout because their five point gap was was closed it, it is now reduced to two points only and that should be worrying
effective block by Naba. Kudakwa Sekondo blocks the ball and so Simba Mtambiro continues with the serve. Simba Mtambiro continues with the serve. Naba just need one point to catch up now. So we can safely say in this very interval, Naba have, been, have won 4-0. Four points to nil. Okay, he could have done better. He could have. He could have done better. Now, but now we need four points to close.